Hello everyone, welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen, featuring cooking, beauty, lifestyle and more. In this recipe, I'll be showing you how to make this simple and yet delicious liver recipe. If you guys are interested in seeing how I make this delicious liver recipe, please stay tuned. And without any further ado, let's get cooking you're gonna be needing of course the liver the style of the recipe it was all washed cut in cube size as you all know liver is a very nutritious meat that is beneficial to those who are suffering from low iron I am going to use some chopped garlic chopped onions chopped parsley you are also gonna need some mustard black pepper salt to taste I am also going to be using this complete seasoning package that I bought from my local grocery store I'm also gonna add in my liver recipe some potatoes which was cut washed and soaked in salt water I am also going to make some salad on the side, so I'm going to boil some eggs, fresh tomato, and some lettuce. You can use kale if you want. Let's get cooking! <laughs> Now you're going to add the liver in a pan. As you can see, I did not add the oil before I add the liver. The pot was already heated up, so I added the liver. Now I'm going to add some oil because I want to control how much oil I'm going to add in the recipe because I do not need a lot of oil. All you need is a little bit of oil to stir fry the liver and the rest of the other ingredients. You're gonna keep stir frying your liver until it's well brown, until all the water all dried out, until the only thing you can see in the pot is the oil. If you are very impatient to wait till the water dry down, you can pour some of the water out, add the liver back in the pot and add a little bit more oil. Now that the water is all dried down, like so, I am going to add my chopped garlic. I know in the beginning I did not show you guys that I'm gonna use some habanero pepper. I decided to add some habanero pepper because I like some heat in my food. Now I'm going to add my chopped parsley. If you do not have parsley, you can simply use some cilantro leaves. Make, sh make sure you chop them really finely. Now I am going to add my chopped onions. Now you're going to mix the ingredients with the liver, stir fry it, keep stir frying it until the onions and the 
parsley and garlic are pretty translucent then you're gonna add some salt to your own taste keep adding salt to your own taste until you reach your desire liking then you're gonna add some black pepper mix it really well until it's well incorporated and then like I said you're gonna add salt to your own taste if you do not want to add salt just simply add adobo seasoning or the packet of seasoning that I showed you guys earlier or simply salt meanwhile I am going to fry my potatoes you can cut your potatoes any shape you want fry them until it's golden brown then dry it on a paper towel you can make a french fries cut you can make this round shape cut but make sure when you decide to make this type of cut it's not too thin Like I said, if you do not have this seasoning by Badea, I believe it, the name is, you can find them in your local grocery store. If you have some adobo at home or some mixed garlic with salt and onion powder or whatnot, you can simply use that or just use salt or any Maggi cube you have. Just make sure you add your own seasoning to your own taste, especially when it comes to salt now i am going to add some mustard i'm using the french's mustard i'm adding one and a half tablespoon of mustard you can use one and a half tablespoon to two tablespoon of mustard if you don't have the french's mustard you feel free to add the dijon mustard any mustard you have that should be fine mix it really well until it's blended up really nicely within the sauce keep stir frying it check your salt to taste how you like it as long as you follow the recipe everything should be fine if this is the first time you are tuning into my channel I want to thank you for stopping by I and I welcome you and please kindly hit that subscribe button and don't forget your notification bell all notification until it's turned gray and I also want to thank all my returning subscribers for constantly watching my video and this is the end result of the liver recipe like I said this is a simple liver recipe meal if you come home from work and you don't feel like eating anything heavy you just want to eat something light or if you are trying to boost your iron level if you have a low iron it's just an it's just a great nutrition nutritious meat that you can add and boost um if like i said if you have a low iron level because i know a lot of people don't like liver but liver if it's cooked the right way it's not bad at all it's very delicious and it's very nutritious and I hope you guys are enjoying this video and don't forget if you're new hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching you can enjoy this with bread put the salad in the bread and put the liver sauce in there and some eggs and make it into a sandwich and there you go Thanks for watching everyone and congratulations to you if you watch this video so far you have just made yourself a delicious liver recipe if you try this recipe let me know and leave your comment down below on the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye